What's going on everybody? Tfue's back again. This is part six of Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. Now, as you remember, we were just about to talk to Trudy, so let's do that. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. And really what that did was level us to level three, so pretty soon we're going to have some skills that we can add to. Um, I heard your argument. We're going to talk to her about Joe Cobb because they didn't seem to like each other very much. Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Well, I think Ringo kind of had the same thought we did. Fuck the powder gangers, right? Um, let's see. What are you going to do? Uh, Joe, come all right, we're going to say, where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Okay, we saw that. That's kind of near the docks. Um, what are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Yeah, that would solve a lot of problems, wouldn't it? Um, powder gangers? Who are they? Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. Yeah. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Okay, so why not just kill him? You mean murder him? That's not our way. Even okay, if cops they need to scum, become a little bit he can more bluster and threaten all he wants. Who are hostile towards them or else they ain't gonna fucking survive. Are you kidding me, Trudy? All right. All right. What happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Okay. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad. And they've got a okay, lot of friends out there. They don't got that many friends compared to... You know, what if I help the Powder Gangers? Okay, I'm trying to track down the people who attack me. Basically... Okay, this lady is a wealth of information right now. But I am going to say goodbye. Be real careful quick. out there. I'm going to just fix her radio and level up. All right. So, as you can see, we got 14 skill points here to add. And that's a lot considering that we have the eight um, intelligence. So, let's see here. What are we going to do? We're going to make this 45. For some reason, I like just going like even things. Just in case you come across things, you're going to be pissed off if it's freaking one or two, you know what I'm saying? Um, survival, let's add four to this. Just hopefully we can make some more stuff when it's 20. I think we can. Um, let's see, we got four more. Lockpick 35, there we go, perfect. Um, and welcome to level two, perfect. So which means we can choose a perk. And now, Junk Round, Survival is a Mother of Invention, no thanks. Black Widow, uh, this is good, okay? This is good. But, we're not going to take it just yet. We're going to take Intense Training. Why? I'll tell you why. So that we can add one more to Intelligence, so that we can... As soon as we get to um, the medical center, we can buy our upgrade to 10 intelligence. Because ultimately, the quicker we do that, the quicker we'll be leveling, um, or the, the more points we'll be getting while we level. So that's what we're doing. And Trudy is radio, <coughs> excuse me, is on the fritz. Actually, I guess I gotta talk to her about it first. Feeling thirsty? No. I can take care of I that. I want to actually help you out. There's always Let's something interesting going say. on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Okay, so she's talking about... Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm sure I've got something you like. Let's see what she has. So she's got some dirty water. She's got some fixing things. 
Nuka Cola Scotch, Whiskey Vodka. Okay. These for four dollars aren't that bad. Especially because I'm only giving her twenty bucks. Now what am I gonna sell to her? I'm gonna sell this baseball bat because I have a better melee thing. Yeah. Damage 36 and what's the DPS? 36. Yeah, I'm selling that. So now she's giving me 19. That's freaking perfect. Does she have any stim packs? No. She own see she only has aid. Whatever. Thanks. That's good. I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. Yep. The Legion are a bunch of savages. The no idea why they want the dam. Probably plan war. on destroying it or something. Somehow. It's got to be the water, right? All right. Let's see what else. It's good spring. You know, a robot that rescued me. Because obviously we want to figure that thing, out. thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. So they're kind of sketched out about him. Which is perfectly fine because I would be too. It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. So the owner may have lived here. It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. <laughs> yes, I would too, actually. Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. He actually, Victor I has a house an interest in you, on the outskirts, careful. kind of. It's never helped anyone before. Fine by me. I want her to tell me about her goddamn radio. Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. General store Most travelers right heading south on the I-15 yeah, just 15. push on towards Prim. Unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Alright, fuck you, dude. Be if careful you're not gonna out tell there. me about your radio, then I ain't fixing it. I can't believe you can't. No, well, I ain't gonna shoot it, but. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Hey, how you doing, Mutt? Hey! Cheyenne. All right, let's go talk to Ringo, because obviously he's probably got something better to say than Trudy. Hey, look what we got here, a little sarsaparilla machine. Oh, we're going to take it to all those sarsaparillas. Thank you very much. And it looks like we're going to be... Greeted That's by Ringo. Close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? <sighs> I'm not an enemy, you fool. Oh my God. Sorry about the gun. You just What's caught me off guard. That's all. We got off to a bad start. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of caravan. You know how to play? Uh, I do, but we're not gonna play caravan, buddy. We're gonna get right down to the nitty gritty. Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show okay, up. Okay, if he was afraid There's of you no shooting him from the window, wouldn't you just look fight. inside the house? Come on, man. I'm gonna lay Let's low for as long, long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. I don't now, know about that, buddy. Some of the other I people think we in town were also chance. on board. Oh, I'll ask around and see what Start I can with round Sunny up. Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. That's because she's probably the town bicycle. All right, we're going to turn on our light here and see what we got. Turpentine? No. Okay, right here, very important to get this doctor's bag. This is probably the first doctor's bag that you see. Um, that's good right there. That's later on going to be just invaluable to us. 
Empty whiskey bottles. You open a sack. Gotta see what's in the sack. Look at that. Noodles and that. We're taking it all. Floor safe? That's not even his floor safe either, so we're taking it. And if he was to say anything, oh my god, he'd be just done. Come on, buddy. Get the hell out of here. Okay, so that's his ammo, apparently. But it ain't his duffel bag. Wow. See, there's only a few things that we wanted in that thing. That thing was mostly junk. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is, before I crack this safe, we're actually just gonna save, and I am going to start another video. So thank you all for watching. This is Tfue signing off. Uh, Fallout New Vegas Part 7 will be up right after this one. Thank you very much.